I'm going to show an easy way to create a normal map in Affinity Photo. In the past I've used some methods that involved exporting a height map or complicated formulas that required four copies of my um, height function. Uh, but in this case, um, I'm going to show how to do it with just a simple lighting effect. I'm going to start with a pattern I created with Cell Noise 2. And now I'm going to just go and add a lighting effect to this. I'm going to start with Diffuse turned all the way down in Specular and Shininess all the way up. I'm going to turn the Ambient all the way down. And I'm going to start with light 1. That is going to be directional. I'll change the azimuth to 0. And I'll change the color to pure red. 255, 0, 0. Then for the texture, I'm going to add 20 pixels. So you can see the pattern there. I have light coming from the right. And it's illuminating my pattern. You want the elevation at 30 degrees. I'm going to add another color. This one is also going to be directional. It's going to go, because the Y is starts here and goes um, positive in this direction, I'm going to change that to minus 90 degrees. I'm going to change the color to pure green. And then I'm going to add a third light, also directional. For this one, it um, doesn't matter where this is, but this has to be at 90 degrees. And then the color for this one is going to be blue. That's all there is to it. You can see that um, if I zoom in on this a little bit, you can see it's created some sort of some artifacts here. Um, you could try to remove those. I think they're related to this. As I bring this in, uh, just create some artifacts. Um, you can add a Gaussian filter to try to remove some of those, but otherwise it's a pretty quick and easy way to do this. As far as I know, there's no way to save uh, this live lighting setup as a preset, but you can uh, copy it and paste it into another document. Now that I've got the normal map, I can apply other effects with procedural texture. I've created a Fong lighting effect. And so you can have either uh, diffuse lighting, you can control the specular, you can control the direction of the lighting, and the direction you're looking at it. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, and thanks for watching.